What's up, guys? Sorry about the wind noise. It's awful windy here today for some odd reason. But I wanted to give you all an update, and I waited a little while to do this because I wanted to make sure it was done right. And then I'm going to tell you all the problems we had uh, with our Mercedes, and then I have an update. So wait till the end, and you'll find out what that update is. All right. So in the last video, you've seen that we dropped off the Mercedes to have the head replaced because the heads were bad on the early models like ours. And apparently that is a very common issue because Mercedes actually did have one in stock and they had that thing installed within a day, one day. I was like, wow, that's pretty impressive right there, no doubt. And uh, they said the reason they were able to do it so fast was this happened so often with the early models, which was like a year and a half, two years ago, that they send the heads in complete. So all you have to do is unbolt them and bolt them right back in, send the car out the door. Now I did ask if the new head had the same issue. I was like, are we just gonna experience the same thing, you know, 30,000 miles down the road? And he said, no that Mercedes knew about the issue, had corrected the issue in the new heads, and uh, we should never have that issue again. So I wanted to, to give it a little while before I give you all this video. So since then, we've driven that car several miles, several thousand miles. We've actually taken it to Orlando, Florida, and back home, which is probably over a thousand miles total by the time you drive around in Orlando and stuff like that, it is probably an over a thousand mile trip. Um, everything was great, there was no oil leaks. The, the sound never changed as far as the engine. Those engines are just loud, so know that before you buy one. Um, so the engine noise never changed or anything like that. They did you know, change the oil whenever they replaced the head and all that, so you got a fresh oil change. We, we just had that done, but anyway, they done it again and uh, we got our vehicle back uh, no issues there again no issues after we had it done run great drove it all the way to Florida I could tell that it didn't have the sluggish issue or seemed as sluggish as it did when we took it to I think it was Myrtle Beach I was like this thing don't feel exactly right and that was probably what the problem was was the head um, they said once you got it up to speed, it wasn't as bad, but on low end, you could notice it. And he told me as soon as I told him that, he knew exactly what was wrong with it. He's like, hey, it's got to be So So uh, there it is. Had that fixed, no problems. Glad to report that. Now I want to go over all the issues we had with the Mercedes, um, which wasn't a ton of issues. Of course, we had the head problem that had to be replaced. And we had the windshield wiper motor as soon as we bought it. I mean, that was within the first, I don't know, 1,000, 2,000 miles, it seemed like, give or take. Um, can't remember exactly when it happened, but it was very early on. Um, they tried to fix it two or three times with reflashing it. That didn't work, and they finally just replaced the windshield wiper motor, and that fixed the issue. No more problems with that. Perfectly fine after that. Good to go. The only other issue we had with the vehicle was the windshield had some cracks in it. We did replace it with a factory Mercedes windshield, which took forever to get because I think they come from Germany and it took like a month, month and a half to get that windshield to actually replace it. That's what surprised me if they did the head so quick. If they hadn't had that in stock, I don't know how long it would took to actually um, get that head replaced, just to actually get one into the United States. But the windshield seemed a little fragile on those cars. It had three cracks in it. One of the cracks right in front of me, I was driving to uh, Myrtle Beach that last time, and I seen a little bitty pebble fly up from out from underneath a vehicle, hit right and below where I looked through, and put a huge chunk, just took a chunk out of it, huge chip. So I felt like the windshields were a little fragile, but again, when, you know, it has a brand new windshield in it right now from Mercedes. So everything we had was fixed under warranty except the windshield, we had to pay for that, but there again, Mercedes windshield. Um, but everything was fixed under warranty and everything was good to go. Now, as the day I'm making this video, last night, we got rid of the Mercedes. We traded it. 
Um, I wasn't for buying a Mercedes. I don't trust Mercedes. I told the people that we traded uh, the, the dealership we traded the vehicle at, that's what I told them. I said, you know, it don't have a lot of miles on it. We've taken good care of it. I just don't trust it. I don't trust Mercedes. So uh, we got a Lexus. I'm not gonna tell you which one it is. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know you've seen a picture of it. I didn't put the specific model or anything like that or uh, what type it is. It is extremely nice. Um, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's Gear Runner over there as well. Um, go follow me and sometimes you get to see a little bit behind the footage before it actually makes it on YouTube. But Mercedes is not with us any longer. Thank goodness. There again, it was a seemed to be a decent vehicle. I mean, it never left us stranded. Yeah, I had to have the head replaced, but it never left us stranded. Even when the head did seem like it was you know, a little wonky in the engine light come on. I still made it from my house to Knoxville, which is, you know, a couple hours, and I had no issues. It made it fine. So, as far as that goes, I mean, I can't knock Mercedes for being bad, because there again, never left to strand it. This road's horrible. Um, but I myself would never buy another Mercedes. That's just me. I'm a Toyota Lexus person i think i'm in a toyota right now a camry um and that's just you know me i feel pretty confident and comfortable in toyota's reliability and uh that's why we went the lexus route a later video i was going to do that video today but pam actually was driving the lexus somewhere so uh i couldn't do that video but in a later video hopefully maybe later this week I'll get to do a video of what we bought and introduce it to you guys. We'll take our first drive. And then after that video, I will do a comparison video of the Lexus and the Mercedes and tell you the pros and cons of what I see with both driving the Lexus early on. Now, last night I drove the Lexus for about an hour back home. So I have a little bit of seat time in it, not as much as the Mercedes, but I did immediately see pros and cons in both. The Lexus does have more features than the Mercedes um, by quite a bit, actually. I thought the Mercedes was fully loaded, but uh, it was not, apparently. Uh, but the Lexus, it is. So uh, that'll be a later video where I compare them both. It's interesting, um, some of the pros and cons, and don't get me wrong, there are pros to the Mercedes and some of them are pretty big pros. The reliability of the Lexus is what got me in a Lexus. If it wasn't for the reliability, if the Mercedes and the Lexus both had a, uh, the same reliability, well, you'll have to wait till that video to see which one I'd pick. But you might be surprised. Anyway, guys, there is the update on the Mercedes, the GLB 250. Um, if I didn't say that earlier, and uh, it's gone. I told you all we would probably get rid of it, and uh, we did. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel, it helps the algorithm. I appreciate it. I love you guys. We'll see you next time.